I'm talking to all of you Trump haters out there. Listen up. If you don't like Donald Trump, then just admit it. Simply give your reasons why. Vote against him in November and keep it moving. That's how a democracy works. If you're in favor of kangaroo court rulings delivered to you by corrupt judges and corrupt district attorneys, then you're part of the problem. You have no moral high ground to demand justice for anything if you're willing to imbalance the scales of justice just because you personally dislike someone. And being that a sorry lot of you are self-proclaimed social justice warriors, then you need to really take a look in the mirror. At this moment in time, not only are you cheering for an innocent man to be indicted on false allegations, but you also disapprove of interfering with the people's right to vote. And since you like to play the race card on the left, just take a look at me. I'm a registered voter and I'm voting for Donald Trump. And just because you have a personal dislike for Trump, you're going to strip the right of a black voter to support his political candidate at the polls? Yeah, it's ironic that the left says that the right is trying to do away with black history when it is the left that are still dictating to a black person how they should vote in 2024. Not too long ago, our ancestors did not have the right to vote. The weaponization of the U.S. government against your fellow Americans' right to vote is not a democracy. That's called totalitarianism. In a totalitarian government that you're pushing for, nobody wins and nobody will even have the right to vote or protest. Donald Trump did not try to cause an insurrection being that he was the sitting president at the time. How in the hell can he overthrow a government where he was the commander in chief? Did Donald Trump use what would be considered as radical language? Yes, he did use what many would consider to be radical language. However, it was a radical situation at that day and time. If we're going to convict him for using radical language, then we need to convict Nancy Pelosi, who called for uprisings across the country. We need to convict Lori Lightfoot, who was encouraging BLM supporters to violently attack Trump supporters. We need to arrest Kamala Harris, who encouraged the bailing out of the looters across America during the BLM riots. And yes, I did say the looters, being that nobody was simply just protesting that was being arrested in the midst of all of that chaos. I've had water bottles thrown at me. I've been maced. People tried to jump me. That didn't work out too well for them. I've had my name smeared all across social media, and that's simply for being a Trump supporter. How many Biden supporters out there can say things like this happened to them? Us Trump supporters work. So we don't have time to be sitting in discords all day, plotting on whose TikTok account we're going to mass report or whose life that we are ruined if they don't accept our challenge to interact with them personally. If we had done half the things to you that you've done to us, then you would be crying foul, calling us violent terrorists and white supremacists. And that's the reason that I could never be in bed with the left. You're a bunch of cowards that can't take what you dish out. And let truth be told, you white liberals aren't too concerned with the black people that are in your ranks. They're just your model proletarians and your Marxist agenda. After January 6th, there was a push from the Democrats to go after Trump supporters due to a fear of white supremacist extremism. You were given a 1-800 hotline and were told to call the FBI on your conservative neighbors because they told you that we were a threat. Yet you have neo-Nazis across the country that have their own training camps. And in these training camps, they learn tactical shooting and martial arts. While conservative websites were taken down and patriot groups were forced to disband, these neo-Nazi websites were left unscathed. And the training camps are still in existence. It came as no surprise to me when Vladimir Putin pointed out that Ukraine is full of neo-Nazis from the United States. The Azov Battalion of Ukraine's defense are indeed neo-Nazis. And for those of you who are too dull to know, neo-Nazis are the military sector of the left wing, not the right wing. Neo-Nazis also call themselves white national socialists. They even thank Joe Biden in an interview for sending the Azov Battalion rockets to fight the Russians. No, the Proud Boys are not neo-Nazis. How could the Proud Boys be neo-Nazis when they've been on record openly condemning neo-Nazis? The Proud Boys are as much as neo-Nazis like the LA Crip Street Gang are neo-Nazis. The Proud Boys were there to curtail the damage that was done by the rioters. The LA Crips confronted BLM when they tried to do the same thing in Long Beach, California. Let me refresh your memory. Brother, you blow me? How do you get your fucking ass out of here? Get your bitch ass out of here. Bring your ass out. Fucking looting over here. Get your motherfucking ass knocked out. Get your punk asses on. Nigga, this Long Beach. Thank you, sir. Say something. Say something.
It's ironic how that video never made the newsrooms across major media outlets. I'm Ricky Manor of the Melanated Rebel News Network. Please be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and be sure to hit that bell notification so you know when I go live or when I upload new content.